It's working just to take a drag of my cigarette. All right. This is Yusuf at my channel, and this is to this response to saying goodbye to religion. Um, <coughs> I watched the video, and I almost compelled to say, "Have you ever seen Archbishop Lazar at All Saints Monastery?" <coughs> I just want to make this very short. My car uh, was 11 miles from my home, and the alternator went out in my car. And uh, I'm a definite damn sure not to pray to God. Um, I'm Eastern Orthodox, so we don't do crap like that. We don't. Not going to pray that God gets me home safely or that I get out of it or this or that. Um, that's almost like a form of paganism. You're trying to appease the, God, the sky God so he'll give you something. Instead of reverencing beauty or worshipping God or something like that. Um, I made it home. Uh... miraculously, but it's not a miracle, it's just the car got home. I don't know how it did, I don't know how the battery lasted that long, but it did. And it was in, it was in heavy traffic, it's in Chicago traffic. Um, it's probably over 11 miles. Um, I'd have to map last to see, um, because <clears throat> it was about midpoint, because it was about a 22 mile drive. Um, and wh whatever, whatever 45 minutes is, I don't know. It's 45 minutes, car running solely on battery. The windows weren't even working. The radio was the first sign is the radio cut out. The speedometer went down. The, everything boom goes out, and I'm just shh, driving. Get in my driveway. That's it. But I've known Western Christians to pray over their. There was one praying over his his window because it wouldn't roll up, and I thought that was at least like a slap in the face to God. Um, although I can't say I believe in the gods at all. We believe in this, not even descriptively the same as. Western Christians. Um, I'm Eastern Orthodox, so there's no original sin, there's no creationism, there's no. Um, and this isn't all liberalism, this is just, we've never had this. Um, there's no Christ dying as a penal substitution for your sins. Um, but I think man is naturally ritualistic. Um, Satanic Bible lays this up really well. I really like the Satanic Bible. Um, your reasons for giving this, that's perfect reasons. Western Christianity, I think, uh, will drive people. I think it's its the sole motivation behind people becoming a-religious or people saying, well, I'm spiritual, not religious, or people being just outright atheist or anti-theistic uh, because of the Western sky god that was corrupted by Augustine and um, Anselm and Aquinas. Um, the Protestants still hold Augustine, whether they want to say it or not, because they still have original son. Um, even though you're saying goodbye to religion, I would say just at least culturally check out it just type in all saints monastery to a search thing and just watch archbishop lazar dancing with unicorns is a, a beautiful thing uh if i'm able to send it to you i will um or i guess if you'd like me to i'd like your permission first but um yeah i think this is a perfect example of um the forms of Christianity that America knows about.
it's it dries you off, it wears you out, it's become silly and yeah, praying before a test or a basketball game or I mean no. Uh yeah, I prayed to God to comfort my family when my sister was dying, but um which is recent. Um I prayed for health, but for tests for my car for me to get back safely, no. Um for I mean the, the, the I mean, doesn't taking the Lord's name in vain. I think people misunderstand that. Um, reading the Bible can mess you up too. Christians never read the Bible. Surprise! I mean, this is may come as a shock, but they didn't read the Bible. They've heard the Bible being read in um, very highly liturgical setting of sacred sanctuary of church, where only Christians were there. Um, we don't proselytize, so this isn't trying to get you to become Orthodox at all. Because proselytize, proselyti proselytization is bad. It's wrong. It's actually against Orthodoxy. Um, Western concepts of heaven and hell we don't hold to. Um, but I would urge you, just as a reflective thing, not trying to get you to change your mind, because it, I think it's a good thing that you're dropping the western things of trappings of these you know praying before a test or something like that um then you find them rep i i find them just as repugnant too and i consider myself religious uh you can see i have icons but you can't see them very well if i could shed some light on it they're two-dimensional images that are done in a very strange way, but I would just urge you to check out Archbishop Lazar at All Saints Monastery. Um, even if I hadn't seen this video, I'd still ask you to watch those, just because to expose Americans to something that they have no clue about, um, they're ignorant of. They're not I'm calling you stupid when I'm saying you're ignorant of, I'm just saying there's no knowledge of it because it seems like there's two choices. You have the Protestants interpret the Bible your own way, however you want it, or Roman Catholicism interpret the Bible whatever way the current Pope wants you to. Where we say we existed before the Bible and we get none of our theology from it. And there's nothing like praying about a test. I would say religion is a response to the beauty, the fact that we find ourselves being conscious animals, the fact that we have love and hate, that we see things as repugnantly evil, like torturing or raping a child, and we see things as very beautiful, or we can recognize compassion, <coughs> and our response to this is religion. Um, again, burying a loved one is a very religious thing. Man is a religious animal and will always remain one. Uh, and religions can be without a god. can be non-theistic. They can even be anti-theistic. Bill Maher would even admit that communism is a religion. And sociologists, I think, the majority would agree. Um, but I would just urge you to check out Archbishop Lazar hollow at All Saints Monastery. All Saints, just type in one word, All Saints Monastery, into the search. Um, again, not trying to proselytize you. Not, do not want you to become Orthodox. I shouldn't say don't want you to become Orthodox, but it's nothing of the intent of this, but just a, a reflection. Or not even a reflection, just a, kind of like talking to somebody about science that knows nothing about science. Um, you know, there's this whole other thing, a way of figuring out. You don't have to try to appease, you know, the volcano god. There's actually, you know, tectonic plates and, you know, at work there and stuff like that. Of course, you 
know more of that, about that stuff than I would. But peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria. <coughs> which is something I actually do pray for. Um, which is in a test or a basketball game. When I say that, there also has to be action along with that, too, of actually supporting them, doing something about it. Um, people say prayer works. No. No, I, I mean, not in praying for something and it happens. Oh, I prayed for rain, it rained. Well, that's just because it rains. Um, I don't know. This is, this is this is what confuses, saddens, and angers me about the forms of Christianity that exist in America that aren't of the Eastern Orthodox communion, that aren't Syri Chalcedonian, Syriac, or Antiochian, or anybody in communion with us. Um, Again, it's just two alien worlds. Um, take it easy. Live a good life. Uh, I hope you live a good life. Uh, and I uh, think your abandonment of that kind of foolishness is a good thing. Come check out our foolishness. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's something totally different. That's why... I'd say check it out. Just like when people say, oh, all religions have a God, I'd point to Buddhism. Um, which, actually, we're closer to the Buddhists than the Hindus. Are anything of anything but Christianity or our Eastern Orthodox style. I don't even like calling myself a Christian for the plain fact of what you just pointed out. Take it easy. This is Yusuf. You can message me whenever you want. Um, but I would urge you to check out Dancing with the Unicorns by All Saints Monastery. And the guy speaking about it is Archbishop Lazar Pahala. Take it easy. Um, I'm Eastern Orthodox, so we don't do crap like that. We don't, I'm not going to pray that God gets me home safely or that I get out of it or this or that. Um, that's almost like a form of paganism. I was 11 miles from my home, and the alternator went out in my car. And uh, I'm a definite damn sure not to pray to God. Uh, video, and I almost compelled to say, have you ever seen Archbishop Lazar at All Saints Monastery? <coughs> I just want to makes it very short. My car, uh, you're trying to appease the, go the sky god so he'll give you something. Instead of reverencing beauty or worshipping god or something like that. Um, I made it home. Uh, It's working just to take a drag of my cigarette. Alright. This is Yusuf at my channel, and this is to, this response to saying goodbye to religion. Um, <coughs> I watched.